Dr. N.T. Thanu, Consultant Dermatologist and Aesthetic Physician at Dharmaway Skin, Hair and Laser Clinic based at Gangnam, Gujarat. So today, I am going to discuss with you about a very common skin condition that is skin tags. So basically, what are skin tags? These are small soft growth hanging out of the skin. It's a very common condition seen in almost 50% of the adults. Uh, uh, the frequency in males and females is almost equal. Skin tags are more commonly seen in obese individuals, diabetic individuals and those who have family history of skin tags. These skin tags however increases during pregnancy because of the increase in estrogen hormones. They appear in the second decade of life mainly seen in skin fold areas such as underarms, neck, eyelids and groin. These are soft, painless growth, pink color or maybe skin color or brown in color. However, sometimes these painless conditions may turn into a painful condition where these tags twist on itself leading to the cutoff of their blood supply and they become black and painful. In the uh, skin folds, because of the friction, these skin tags may become sometimes irritated and inflamed as well. These skin tags vary in size from 2 to 5 mm, but sometimes they may grow into several centimeters. The medical term for this skin tag is eclocodon. These uh, skin tags are basically made up of blood vessel, collagen, and an overlying skin, skin surface. The main concern is the cosmetic. So patients come with a cosmetic concern that these skin tags are not liking it. These are hanging around my neck or they are becoming inflamed and irritated in the skin foods. They pose no health problem. They never get converted into a cancerous growth. So uh, these are basically harmless conditions. But however, we need to differentiate these skin tags from moles which are colored usually color and from viral warts, those who are infectious as well as contagious and harmful. Now the second part of our discussion is how to get rid of these skin tags. So basically we do two types of treatment, either we burn them, heat them through electrocautery or we freeze them through cryosurgery. So by uh, doing the procedure for small skin tags we put a numbing cream half an hour before the procedure to make these skin tags now or for the larger ones we can put local anesthesia so the removal is almost painless doesn't lead to any scar formation or any along with the physical removal of these skin tags we also advise patients for weight reduction and for diabetes control Sometimes what patients do, they go for home remedies like application of lime or chuna on the skin tags which leads to painful ulceration followed by scar formation. So always consult your dermatologist for the removal of skin tags and get a beautiful skin. To book an appointment with a cosmetologist or a dermatologist in your area, please visit www.skinandhairacademy.in.